everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and today I've got a plans video for you. Um, I am at the end of a four-part Megan Nielsen mini capsule wardrobe. I've gone through her four newest patterns, the Jara, the Waddle, the Dawn, and now the Floriette, um, and making all the versions, kind of just showing the versatility in some of the patterns um, because she does have a lot of uh, versions and um, views that you can make from her patterns and also on different body um, styles so I've been doing some on myself and on my daughter um, just to kind of show how those kind of work. Um, before we get started people have been asking like what I'm wearing in the videos I've got on simpl a Simplicity bodysuit and I'm gonna put the number I can never remember the numbers I'm gonna put the number down here and I'm wearing it with my Dawn my Dawn um, corduroy pants my tapered cropped corduroy pants. So today I've got my plans for the last of these four patterns and it is the Floriette, which is a woven dress and top that can also be made in knit fabrics. I think that they've got um, in the pattern there's also uh, blocks for doing it in knits. So this is woven but it does is dartless, which woven and dartless do not work well with me <laughs> because I'm busty. So a lot of times, um, yeah, that's not really my jam, but I'm interested in trying this dress. Now I will say, she's got the asymmetrical hem in the front um, for the dress and the tops. And I think for the dresses, I'm going to cut it off and do just a level hem on these. Um, mostly because it's just, I, I'm just not really drawn to asymmetrical. Now I am gonna leave the as asymmetrical hem on the tops because I love the way she has them tied. Um, I think it's the cover of the Dawn jeans actually. She's got a Floriette top with it and has it tied. I think it's adorable. So um, I am going to leave those asymmetrical for both the tops um, so that my daughter and I can tie them because I think that's cute. Alright, so we will start with version one and it is a knit dress with sleeves. So I'm going to do this one for Ava and um, I think I kind of she recommends that you can use linen and cotton and all sorts of things for this pattern. But because it's dartless and because my daughter and I are a little bit bustier, I've decided to go with drapey fabrics because I find that's just not going to stand off my body as much. So it'll be the fabric working for me, kind of. <laughs> so for our figures, I've decided to do drapier fabrics. So for her dress, we're going to do um, view one with the sleeves. And I have chosen this rayon in my stash. I'm going to stand up so you can see, that has fruit on it. Is that not adorable? It's pink with little black dots and fruit. I bought this from Blackbird Fabrics like a year and a half, maybe even two years ago, maybe just a year ago, maybe at Christmas time, because I just thought it was so stinking cute. Um, yeah, and my daughter has like been in love with it as well, and I think I have three meters of it, so there's a chance that I could get my, something... She's seriously, I keep thinking, oh, I can get something for myself out of it because I bought it with myself in mind, but who are we kidding? Like, she's not going to wear a dress if her mom has a matching top. <laughs> she's 12. Yeah, that's just the way it's going to be. Um, but maybe, maybe if I hoard the rest of it long enough to where she's no longer wearing the dress and then I can make myself so something out of it. But anyway, so I'm going to do a short sleeve. She asked for a short sleeve. Um, the version has long sleeves and short sleeves, and she's asked for short sleeves, which makes sense. Um because we, this is kind of for spring. But yeah, I'm gonna, again, cut the asymmetric part off the hem and do just a level hem on this dress, but we're gonna do it in this rayon chalet, so that'll be exciting. Okay, view two is a longer t-shirt with long sleeves. And I'm gonna make this one for me, and I'm going to use the fabric I just got from my Sew Over It um, knit box and knit fabric box. I just did an unboxing of that um, recently and I'll put a link to that if you want to see it. Uh, but it's got these palm leaves on it and I just think this will be a perfect like transitional fabric and it's super drapey which will help with the issue with my boobs. Um, but yes, I'm going to do that shirt and I am going to leave the asymmetrical part on it because I want to be able to tie it. And again, this one's I think the shirt's a little bit longer than view C. But um, yeah, we're going to do that one with the longer sleeves and uh, keep the asymmetrical hem so I can tie it. And again, this is a knit crepe. 
And someone said that they thought that that might be a Liverpool knit, and I'm just, I've seen Liverpool knits written everywhere. I believe this is a rayon crepe knit. Um, I don't think it, I could be wrong. I would need to do a burn test to tell for sure. It just feels rayon to me. I could be wrong. There could be polyester in it. Um, but yeah, it's pretty nice. I'm very excited. It's going to make a great transitional piece. All right. View. Okay. Okay. The next, sorry. Mine blank. Just my plans. Just, yeah. Okay, the next... No, I'm taking that back. Pretend I didn't just show you this fabric. That one's going to come back. For my... I'm going to do a woven top for myself. Sorry. I'm getting confused. And this rayon with these big stripes on it. And I'm going to do a longer sleeve. I Probably not a long sleeve, maybe like a three-quarter length sleeve, but I am going to do a woven top and I'm going to leave the asymmetrical hem so that I can tie it. It's really drapey. And it has, it's a rayon with like a, a crinkle in it. And I've had this in my stash forever. I have like five yards of this. So <laughs> I've got enough to, to do all sorts of things with it. Um, but yes, sorry. So I'm going to do view B in the woven rayon I wanted to show you guys the top in a woven, and the top in a knit, and then a dress in a woven, and a dress in a knit. So sorry if that got confusing. <laughs> so yes, so the top in this wonderful big fat stripe, and that will be a good transitional piece. Okay, view C is a little bit more of a cropped shirt with the asymmetrical, and I'm going to leave it again so we can knot it, and it has short sleeves. Which I guess you could do sleeveless because there's a sleeveless dress. But I'm going to do the short sleeves. And my daughter's picked out this fabric. And it's a very thin, like a tissue weight, um, kind of a celery green. She has green eyes, so this is a really good color for her. Um, again, it's very thin. And I think this might be polyester. There might be polyester in this. I bought this as a remnant um, at a fabric shop a long time ago. Um, but it's super drapey, so that will be nice. And I think it should hang well. Um, and be great with a pair of like, actually, her little white waddle skirt that I just made her. It would be adorable. You could tuck it into that and it doesn't matter that it's got the asymmetrical hem. But she likes the idea of being able to knot it and tie it. She likes that look. So um, we're going to leave the asymmetrical hem on that one. Okay, and then finally, view D is what I'm going to use this fabric for. And it's going to be sleeveless and it's going to be a dress. And it's going to transition me into, from spring to summer, be able to wear it in Florida. Woo! Um, so I won't repeat, I mean, it's the same fabric. I just got confused. I'm not doing a t-shirt out of this. I'm in fact doing a dress. Um, but this, the sleeveless dress. So, and again, I'm going to level out that hem and not do the asymmetrical on that. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, and actually, this dress I may make in a woven for myself later on down the road. Uh, especially as a sleeveless version. I mean, it just looks so loose and like cozy. I'm going to see how it turns out. Or not cozy, but like airy. Um, I love rayon in the summer just because it's cooler and it just, yeah. It just makes me happy. Especially if you don't have anything touching your skin, you know, with the humidity and stuff. It could be yeah, a game changer this summer. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. So there you have it. My four versions, my four plans for uh, my versions of the Floriette. Um, and I think I should be able to get these done pretty quickly. My plan is, okay, so you're seeing this on Friday. Actually, you're seeing this on my birthday. So happy birthday to me. I'm filming this well before that. Um, and then Tuesday, I've got a cover stitch tutorial for um, the Sew My Style. So hopefully you will be seeing this lookbook. Not next Friday, but the following Tuesday. Because I'll have to do, sorry, I'm just going to plan things out in my head. You'll be seeing this soon though, like maybe a week and a half. Um, of seeing the finished Floriette, and then we'll be done with the Megan Nielsen capsule. And um, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do like a, I may do like a roundup video of just showing you mix and matches of how I, if, if that, let me know. Does that sound interesting? Would you like to see at the end of all four of the patterns of me mixing and matching all of the patterns that I've made with the Megan Nielsen capsule, or are you ready to move on for other things? Um, I'm going to have a couple of weeks in here. I mean, I've had a three video week which is not going to be my norm. That's too much for me to sustain. Um, so, you know, we're at two videos a week, and those fill up quickly. Like, I'm finding, 
<laughs> I'm finding, you know, getting pushed, you know, things are having to get pushed quite far in advance, which is great. Um, which is another reason you sub should subscribe because I've got tons of stuff planned and I, almost more than I've got time for at the moment. Um, but anyway, that's what you have to look forward to in the more recent few or the more closer future. Um, but yes. So I hope you guys are having have a wonderful weekend. I hope you had a lovely Valentine's Day yesterday. Uh, and I will see you all on Tuesday. Bye.